shaman. That might have been good. Oh, I'm just very astonished. What's this? Okay. Is that going for me? Let's look at this thing. Where'd he go? Carrots. Quick play. Dr. Ratio. This is the dude that like knocks down the pillar, right? I have too many characters on my plate at the moment. Mission is to the Still this. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Okay, cool. Where the fuck am I? Hmm. Our main story mission. I just want to do this shit real quick. Where is it? Let's take it in turns. Right, you cool. rest. I'll stand ah, guard. Honorary. Thank you for helping Hook find the detector. But now, Hook needs to ask you another favor. You're asking a lot, Hook. <laughs> I haven't even mentioned what this is about, but exactly. that's the spirit. Too much. You truly are an honorary member of the moles. Hook and want. Daddy's birthday is approaching. Every year at this time, we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday together. Are you both born on the same day? Yeah, what's the problem? Oh, that's cool, I guess. Daddy's job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He gets home really late every day. I don't want to use his hard-earned money to buy a gift. Heh. <laughs> use his money to buy him a gift? That's crazy. Hey, are you patronizing me? Maybe. Actually, I still have some valuable treasure of my own in Rivet Town. <laughs> it's a shame I left it there. If I go bring it back and sell it for a decent price, I can buy a gift for Daddy without begging anyone for money. I know that Rivet Town is super dangerous right now. That's why I'd like to enlist Rivet you as my bodyguard. Oh, that wow. way, even I'm if the bitch finds out later, I won't be the only one getting a scolding. <laughs> then it's settled. Let's meet in Rivet Town. I'll be. All right. Uh, can I help you? There we go. Fuck you. That's cool. 
challenge for fun. For funsies. It... We're gonna type Cecilia's is not a PB. It is IPB. Start challenge. Victory means preparation. Risk warning. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Nice. That's out of the way. And I can say I did that. A delicate operation. Delicate operation. Yeah. Easy, Numbi. This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! Go, Numbi! Time to twirl! Time to twirl! Time to twirl! Good. It took you so long. Hook's fucker. been waiting here for ages. I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. Hmm. As long as you're here now, it's fine. Is it fine? I got though? some good news and some bad news. Wow. Which do you want? I told the rest of the moles about the plan, and Julian asked me to get some treasure for him. That's whack. If we don't help him, he'll tell the old witch where we've treasure. gone. The good news yeah. is that he's willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. <laughs> Just a shovel. Well, Julian has been a huge help to me. Consider this returning the favor. Well, That's the treasure won't grow legs Sorry. and find us, will it? Come on, let's go. So I forgot how much I love Natasha. Just, mm, that woman. Julian's adoptive parents used to own a business in this area. Ah, we found Julian's treasure. <laughs> no, not the key. These glass marbles. Oh, look at all the different colors. Just the marbles. It wasn't easy collecting all these. What? <laughs> you don't know. Have you never played marbles before? Nah. Oh, by the way, what does this key open? Oh, maybe Julian knows. 
What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, right? Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a lot to the moles. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis for which he was promoted to second in command. Oh, wow. Of course it wasn't that, but okay. his accomplishments are nothing to be scoffed at. In the past, the kids in town were arch rivals to us at the orphanage. Those kids used to bully us, relying on the pocket money that their parents gave them. <laughs> One time, on they sent shit, us dude. a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a marbles competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. We at the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road. Are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge and triumphantly <laughs> returned like with a pile of colorful glass picture. marbles he won. <laughs> it was incredible. Yep. So, now you know why he wanted us to find this treasure. All right, enough chit chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Ah, this treasure Time enough. to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. This like doesn't feel like no the rivet. Uh, ugh, I gotta go back in. Oh, I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now too? Perhaps. Could be. Ugh. More than men. It was before I left. Boxes and mine carts are Gosh, all over the pigtails? street. I never noticed that. What a mess. Oh, did someone move my treasure too? That's that here. I used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of geo marrow and boxes. Uh, hopefully, it hasn't been taken. Hmm. Well, that's all I can recall. But don't worry, I'll look with you. I love how <laughs> we have a little kid dragging us around you. doing this shit. Your drill rig was given to me by a guy from Daddy's mining team as a birthday present. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on. Whoosh! Huh? Broken. Aw, damn. All this broken oh, toy. Just, just don't talk to me right now. I need to calm down. Oh, poor baby. I said don't talk to me right now. I need time to think. Oh, poor baby. Brief silence. Honorary member, um, I wonder, how much do you think Julian's glass marbles would sell for? Ooh, that's wild. After all you come up with, would these marbles belong to Julian? These are worth half, 
Uh, I wasn't actually nah, planning fuck on you. selling we ain't marbles, selling the marbles. But Julian gets his treasure and I get nothing. Not yeah, too bad, huh? Oh, bargain. Well, that might work. But it'll be pretty expensive to fix, right? Right, fine. Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. That's crazy. Maybe dude. he went someplace far away. I have no idea when he'll come back, so that definitely won't work. <laughs> oh, wait a second! I hit another treasure at the orphanage. Well, where'd you go back? Sell it, but if I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. Honorary member, please, please help me look for it. Just one more time. Oh, fine. Ah, yay, let's go. <laughs> exactly what I said. Up these fucking stairs. Yo, dogs barking downstairs. Why are there so many monsters here? Fine. Oh, I'm Time to kill. There it is. This big diamond is all yours. Go now. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Wait! Let me take a look at my notes and mark the location where I stashed the treasure. You got notes for this shit? It's a reward from the old witch. <laughs> You'll know what it is after I dig it up. <laughs> reward for the old witch? Is it that Natasha? Go down the stairs on the left, then walk ten paces forward. Turn right, walk another 15 paces, spin around 10 times, then keep walking forward. Oh no! I'm doomed! The second oh, damn. I... Oh, what kind of lame treasure map would it be if it only had one or two steps? I mean, it's easier to fucking follow. Can't stand About the second sometimes. half of my notes. How will I ever find the treasure? We'll figure it out. Uh, really? Quick! Let's use the home use object finder to help Hook search. Oh, okay. I forget we have this thing. Beep, beep, beep! I need the home use object finder at your service. Please say the target object you want to search for. Oh, wow. <laughs> this little there. thing. It can talk? Wow, you can talk as well, is. little thing. Huh, aren't you sassy? But if you can help me find my treasure, I'll let it slide. It's probably like somewhere near here. Oh. oh, I forgot we have to control it. Wow, I What's already this? found it, I think. Oh, looks like something is written on it. For Julian, 50 years in the future. What the fuck? Whatever. Since we've already dug it up, let's open it. Let's see what the wear I guess <laughs> you're right. We should wait 50 years before opening it. Let's take it back to Julian along with the glass marbles. Damn, fun and more shit for Julian. Here it is! My teddy bear! The old witch gave it to me as a gift. Oh, is that what we're here for? Yes! He's called oh. Junjun. Oh, that's actually a cute Whoa, name. Whoa, Junjun. How did you get covered in dirt? And why do you have so many loose threads? If we don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. Oh. How much can you The old her? witch said that Junjun isn't just any old teddy bear. He'll be worth a lot of money once he's cleaned up. You sure? <sighs> There's no other way. I haven't learned to sew yet. I'll have to ask the old witch for help. Aww. If she finds out I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone, uh, Hook will get lectured all over again. What? <laughs> so what if the old witch yells at me? Hook still has to prepare the gift for Daddy. This is cute. We That's found nice the treasure. Let's split. The monsters here give Hook goosebumps. Ooh, too scary. 
I'm warning you. Don't you dare tell the old witch about Hook's plan to sell the treasure. Tells her this instantly. Nice. Now, let's go back. Time for a break. Silent mode activated. There we go. Oh, did we already get caught? Hook? What are you... <clears throat> Natasha, um, Junjun's in bad shape. Can I remember giving you Junjun? <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. Where did you find him? Don't worry about it. The the wind brought him back to me. Yeah. Be honest with me, Hook. Um, big sister, let me find him in the Rivertown better. orphanage. You had her take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? Natasha, please. <laughs> please help me fix Junjun. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. <sighs> you say that every time, and then... Uh, great, see you soon. Uh, big sister, I'll leave Junjun with you. That's wild. What am I going to do with that girl? You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh-uh, I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. <laughs> Jun Jun. <clears throat> so she gave her bear a name, huh? I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was so an award sweet. I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. Can you imagine what an orphanage is like with so many difficult children? Hook pretended to be She's well like behaved for a nice month in order to get Jun Jun. She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. Hmm. Of course, as soon as she got her award, she went straight back to her old self. That's crazy. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a, a born, skill, all right. Yeah. And forcing her to be well behaved puts a lid on it. Ugh. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll Let's help hook repair Jun Jun. But I'll need to find some stuffing. W wait, look at the eyes. They must be Gemstones. Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quality. Hmm. Well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun. <laughs> nice. It's a long fucking commission. Where'd she go? Here we go. Did the old witch yell at you? She did. She what? Did. Why'd she only yell at Hook? Get fucked, Hook. <sighs> Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? Nah. Great. <laughs> Your loyalty as an honorary member of the Moles is acknowledged. <laughs> anyway, why are you still standing here, silly? Do you have something to... G gems? <gasps> Does that mean he's worth a lot of money? I don't want to sell him. Well, of course I'll sell him. Oh, if the gems crazy. are expensive, Hook can buy a better birthday gift for Dad. Anyhow, this is Take super the useful out. intel. If you've been with the moles a bit longer, I'd be promoting you to... I'll need your help again after Natasha fixes Jun Jun. Always be prepared to... These are like really big parts. Uh, fuck it. Why not? Let's keep going since we're here. Yes, this way, I think. Cool. I love Nevi for this shit. Ah, oh, beautiful. Again? Oh my god. Rad. Oh, Nevi's so good. something that 
I already have in the hatch. And not yet. I'm not gonna buy any of that. Oh, I have to talk to you. Love at first sight, sold at first strike. The wildfire used item auction is opening soon. If you are interested, head down to the vagrant camp and get involved. Oh, Outsider! So I remember you. Perhaps you're hoping to find some treasures at the auction, too. We are not sticklers at this auction. You'll find everything from exotic Bellabog rarities to tattered roadside socks. Yeah, not socks. Oh, plenty. Gloves used by Chief Oleg, the domestic robot that Miss Fedora built. Hmm. There are lots of prospectors hunting for ancient relics in the vagrant camp, so there should be a lot of unique items at this auction. Oh, never heard of a treasure like that before, huh? More excited about the auction now? Oh, here. Take this pamphlet. It has more information on all the rarities up for auction. Remember to stop by the Vagrant Camp. Be there, or be square. I should tell Hook about the Geomarrow probe. She might want to help Fursman get his treasure back. Alright, we're running back. Ugh. What did I agree to? What? Yes, it boy. Okay. Oh, we're doing a challenge. Do I win some for this shit? That sounds really fucking good right now. Nah, I'm not be barfing. I won. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was so weird. Alright, nice. Just get shield. Let's go. Get some rice, I think. already planned his birthday party, but I haven't been able to sell Jun Jun or buy a gift for him. Mm. What should I do? I don't remember. You think of something. Ah, I was right. just about to ask you about the probe. I don't remember. You found some clues? <laughs> the auction. So that's where the probe is? Yes. Do you think Hook's stupid or something? Maybe. At the auction, I can sell Jun Jun and buy a birthday gift for Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, Jun Jun is still at the old witch. Let's go get him and then register for the auction. I feel that she's gonna Tasha gonna fuck us over with the selling of the auction. Huh. <sighs> Are you hurt? Let me take a look. Oh, hey, stupid go. witchy old <laughs> Natasha! <laughs> have, a, have you finished fixing Junjun? Why she has such beef oh, against Oh, your teddy bear? Natasha. <laughs> He's nearly done. Wow, <laughs> he looks brand new. Glad to be of service. <laughs> I shouldn't have sat now down then. and like. Did you really bring her over here with you just quest. to pick up Junjun? We're going to the auction. Ah, uh, no, no, that's not what we're going to do. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, you big mouth. Oh, did I say we're going to the auction? The auction, the one at the vagrant camp. 
So you made me go through all this effort to repair Jun Jun just so you could sell him? That's crazy. <laughs> I, um, Psst, honorary member. You two make an adorable duo. Mm. I was only joking, but oh, Jun Jun is yours, adorable. and it's entirely up to you what you do with him. But you must make one promise to me. Wait, what is it? Don't go charging into the Fragmentum again. Mr. Fursman heard about what you did and came to me to find out what happened. Your mm. dad worries about you. Stop giving him reasons to. Daddy? Mm, okay, I swear I'll never bad. make Natasha or Daddy worry again. I'm going to have to trouble you to keep an eye on this kid again. You seem to be doing a good job, so I'll leave it at that. Hm. Off you go then, and good luck. Thanks, Natasha. Honorary member, let's head to the auction. Ugh. Welcome! Are you here to take part in the auction? Yes, yep. ma'am. Who wants to auction this teddy bear? Teddy bear? How about I take a look at it first, little guy? Hmm. Uh, with all due respect, I don't think this item will generate much interest at the auction. I don't see any value in it. Okay, hmm. well, let me take another look. The craftsmanship is excellent, and the fabric is soft, but I'm afraid that won't command a high price on its own. The eyes. eyes. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's natural Erebus. Uh, <laughs> what are precious off. gems doing on such an ugly teddy? Hey, who are you calling ugly? Take no. that back. Well, 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 who would have thought it? <laughs> Allow I'm me to away. make a suggestion. You should only auction off the gems. What are you talking about? You can't just take Jun Jun's eyes off. All right, all right. Don't get upset, little missy. I'll respect the wish of the owner and keep Jun Jun here intact. Please, sign this commodity contract here. Uh, let me do it. And if you and your friend would like to bid, please fill out this buyer registration form as well. Of course we'd like to bid. I'll sign again. Honorary member, ask about the probe. Probe? Are you talking about the Geo Marrow probe? As far as I know, there are a lot of people interested in acquiring that device. The estimated sale price is no less than 600 shield. Because it's a rare and useful treasure, the Geomaro probe will be up for bidding in the final round of the auction. Oh, wow. But don't worry, the gems on your teddy bear are also very valuable. You'll have the chance to bid on the probe if someone's willing to pay a high price for him. Mm. Oh, then we'll be counting on you. Mm. I'll tell you a secret. The more bidders there are, the more you can get for your bear here. The place is teeming with potential buyers. It only takes a gentle nudge to get him to join in. 
Yuck doesn't get it. What are we supposed to do? Jiggertron's all set and ready to go. <sighs> Let's ask around. Jinjun's super cute. I'm sure there'll be loads of people interested in buying him. You can't help but give him a big hug. <laughs> You'll have sweet dreams every night as long as Jun Jun's by your side. <laughs> Intrigued? He said, wait till he speaks. Mm. <laughs> I. Harassment. Mm. I, I, uh, well, according to the old witch, some people aren't good at talking in front of other people. Why not ask him to write his thoughts down? <laughs> I'm really harassing this man. But <sighs> right, that's crazy. Well, look at that. That's no ordinary teddy bear. Mm-hmm. That's a fire teddy bear. Oh, uh, sorry. I was in a bit of a trance. I didn't know someone was about to strike up a conversation. Yeah. Huh. You don't look like you'll be bidding on much. So, I'll tell you. That teddy bear's eyes are genuine Erebus. We are aware. But it's so absurd. I don't understand why precious gems would be sewn onto a teddy bear. Is this some new kind of scam? Maybe. So you don't think Jun Jun deserves those gems? How dare <laughs> Jun Jun? Who's that? No one can get those. We are, in fact, the bear sellers. Student <laughs> Why didn't you bring that up earlier? Your item has piqued my curiosity. In any case, Erebus of that purity is hard to come by in the underworld. I have to get my hands on that bear, even if it means breaking the bank. Mm, Junjun will break your bank for sure. The gemologist will be bidding too. Hook's teddy bear may be the center of attention. Don't try making conversation with me. I don't trust anyone here. I'm warning you, there's only one winner at an auction. Everyone here is one of my competitors. <laughs> you think you can fool me? The friendlier they are on the outside, the more devious they are on the inside. Mm, seems like this guy's got a real bad temper. Temper? What temper? I'm perfectly calm, thank you. You're sellers, right? I just got sight of a teddy bear on the bid list. Is that yours? <laughs> you two with your poker faces. You've got a trick up your sleeves with that bear. Yeah, this guy thinks that the whole world is against him. <laughs> what should we do, honorary member? <laughs> but I don't want to sell Jun Jun to such a weirdo. Yeah. Okay. Don't want me to profit from your item, huh? Well, in that case. We could find the auctioneer now oh, and kick yeah. off the bid. Although there is still some time left, we could also see if we missed any buyers.
Please wait a moment. The auction will begin shortly. Please wait a moment. The next item has been provided by Hook, a gemstone collector from so Boulder much. Town. It's a handmade teddy bear so adorned with Erebus. An innovative design, it combines incredibly valuable Erebus gemstones with a, a, a good old fashioned cuddly teddy bear. The opening bid is 300 shield. Great 25. Oh, you're adding 25. Isn't that. Hey, what's the problem with 325? That's my offer. That's crazy. 350. I'm putting my reputation as a gemologist on the line. I have to get my hands on that Erebus. Man, they're really going on. Add another hundred shield. 450 going once, any buyers going high. 450 shield for the Erebus teddy bear going twice, any. 450 shield going three times. Damn. The it's gems belong to me. Oh, I hope this money is enough to buy the probe. Don't worry, we have this. You're right. Let's do this. The bidding for the Geomarrow probe has been postponed due to unanticipated complications at the venue. Damn. Please be patient and don't leave the auction if you want to bid on it. Don't worry, everyone. Just a minor technical issue. Uh. We'll take a quick break now and the auction will resume soon. A break? Mm. Do you think there's something wrong with the Geomarrow probe? Oh, no. Uh, let's go ask that I staff remember member. The What happened to the Geomero probe? You tell me right now, straight. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. Technical it's just a issue. technical issue. Hmm. You don't sound very convincing. <gasps> Did someone steal it? Well, we can't say for sure that it was stolen. No, it's not stolen. We've contacted it's the crazy. seller and sent some people in search. We should soon be able to. Why was a wildfire keeping a lookout? I gotta catch the thief and get the probe back. Oh, Any ideas, final. honorary member? Uh, Are you suggesting that someone altered the registration form? Uh, that's simply not possible. Really? We've been keeping a close eye on everything. <laughs> <sighs> Fool! What the honorary member means is that the thief only came here to create trouble. They weren't interested in buying or selling, right? You're smart. When the going gets smart, the boss of the moles gets smarter. Wait a minute. Let me see. Hmm. Aside from you, there was someone else who registered as a buyer but never put in a bid. And I think there was a miner who registered oh, with shit. him. Come on, let's go and interrogate them. Arrogant people? Finally. Hi, excuse me. May I ask where the miner who registered with you is gone? Thomas was standing over there. Him? I think so. He came here saying he wanted to buy the Geo Marrow probe, but then he changed his mind for some reason and ran back to Boulder Town alone. Hmm. X to death. I don't know him all that well. Why don't you just head into town and <coughs> look for him? Do you really think he'll turn out to be a thief? <clears throat> Anyway, outsiders, you should go and look for him in Boulder Town. Hmm. I need to make sure the other buyers haven't left. If you don't find anything, the thief might still be among us. Let's head back to Boulder Town and teleport. Time for a break. I Silent hope mode not a activated. Force. Is this guy? Yeah, you're the guy. Hope there's hey, no force you! Used to this. Did you take the Geo huh? What? Who are you? Where are the people I'm supposed to meet up with? Honorary member, we shouldn't waste any time talking to you. Oh, we're just fighting. Let's go. <laughs> what could a couple of brats do to me? Shut it, thief. Yeah, let's get it. You two better think twice. Enough talk! Let's fight. Let's go! I'm ready. Auto. Time to twirl! Okay, enough! 
enough. I give up, okay? Just the just Stay both calm. of us just beating him in the corner. I'll give you the probe. Great. Just listen to me. I overheard the auctioneer say that the Geomero probe would fetch at least six hundred shield. Six hundred shield. Have you ever seen that much money? You're about to. I'm one of the ten wealthiest people in Bellog. <laughs> you? Yeah, right. How yeah. about this? The boss, along with a few buddies and I, we put together 600 shield and buy the probe from you. No! Hook won't do that! Come on, Missy. Don't be so stubborn. Oh, I see. You just want to keep the probe to yourselves, right? Yeah. Uh, this belongs to your dad, Hook. Now we tell her to keep it. We did shit. in the beginning, but things have changed now. Let's go, honorary member. Back to the office. Wait a minute. You're just gonna give it back? That's 600 shield! 600! Oh, he's getting pissed. Uh, at least think yeah. about it. Nah. There's nothing we do the to think right about, thing Mr. Here. Thief. I want this detector, but I don't want to be a louse like you. Damn. That's... We're gonna win it at the auction fair and square. You got the pro back? Yes, Amazing. sir. Fantastic! Sit up. The owner asked me to pass on 150 shield as a reward for retrieving it. It's fucking dope. And thanks to you, the auction house has regained its credibility. Please, accept an extra 50 shield. Ooh. That's 200 shield! You've earned it. What Besides, shield? if it's you win currency. the bid for the Geomero probe, you'll have paid back the seller anyway, right? So what's this? Is so is this like a discount? Or is well, I didn't say that, but you could certainly interpret it that way. Okay, so we have two hundred huh? shields. Generously accepts the reward. We've got six hundred fifty shield for the auction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the okay. technical issue has been resolved. The second half of the around. auction is about to commence. Please. The next item up for auction has been provided by a veteran prospect. The item itself was once a key. 450. 420. 480. Oh, that was fucking great that we did 420. 520. Oh, what the fuck? 550. Five. Order, order. You're just throwing bids out at random. Yeah. Six fifty. Seven hundred. Jesus. Seven twenty. What? Everyone's looking at. Over to you, Hook. Let's go all in. Okay. Seven. Seven twenty. Go. Seven fifty. <laughs> oh, a new challenge. Seven fifty shield. Seven fifty shield. Going. The next item up for auction. Oh. We did our best. Let's hit it back, Hook. Give my shield too. The auction's over. Daddy's Geomero. Uh, Hook still thinks the probe is the best <coughs> gift. Aww. But just now, I thought I saw the old witch. Is Hook imagining things? Word. Uh, what does it matter? <laughs> That's Hook crazy. The gift. Here. I'll have to go. Teleport back. Time for a break. Silent mode activated. There we go. I wish you all a journey that is free. There we go. <laughs> Natasha! She hates Natasha, Hook, but she really be crawling wrong? back to her. Has someone been bullying you? Mine and Daddy's birthday party is starting soon, but I haven't bought Daddy his gift yet. So... The auction didn't go too well, huh? There's quite a lot of rich people in them. Ugh, it's true. It's ridiculous that a single probe can fetch 750 shields. Huh? You are at the auction too, Natasha? Hook, you're upset that you don't have a gift for your daddy, right? Well, what about this? Huh? Did she buy it? Oh, it's the Ain't no way she bought that shit. How'd you get it? 
I wasn't planning on saying anything, but I saw a couple of very bad-looking faces Hello, in the crowd. Hello, whoever in chat. Welcome. What do you think, Huck? Are you willing to buy the Geomero probe from me? Elena? Yeah, Elena. We got Welcome to the you. chat. Hello. Here. A it's silent follower. I love those. Hmm. Let's have a count. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be enough. Ugh. Hook could also help Natasha clean the clinic for half a month. Three months. Three months. Damn. <laughs> Damn, three months. Which insane. Natasha, let's negotiate. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh uh. No <sighs> bargaining. By the way, Hook, how are your birthday party plans coming well, along? Elna, well, Have you invited chat. this young lady? If you're liking the content oh, you're seeing, yet. please Big sister, continue to do you support come to my the birthday YouTube party? channel and you can join our Discord to join the conversation. Great. Uh, I'll yeah. contact the other members of the moles too. Come find me when you're ready. Mm. We'll go together. I'm just vibing out. Second day of streaming with Tex. I got a few people joining the game a little bit later. So we will see them soon. Some people from Discord might hop in later, so we're gonna buy the oil. Boss! The big hero you mentioned is here! Julian, knock it off! Big hero. Uh, you heard that? Yo, the little well, kid models in Honkai are just member. fucking adorable. We were talking about the birthday party. You wanna hear about it too? <laughs> that follow was four minutes ago. What the fuck? Well, Aunt Gertie always makes a big black bean cake for oh, Hook's birthday. Oh, oh, and Daddy always makes a huge roasted rock crab no, for no, me. No. Uh, and don't forget about Diggertron. Daddy brings a year's worth of machine oil and Diggertron drinks it all up. That's my special machine. Okay. Here we go. I'm the boss of the moles. If I don't get enough to eat, how will I have get the energy to punish villains? Oh, yeah. We okay. were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it, too? Hell yeah. Let's get going. I do hope you will forgive the ramblings like of an old really man, but old. I... I would like to say a few words. I had no idea when my birthday was before I adopted Hook. And I most certainly did not celebrate it. I oh, didn't realize a, how important birthday is. celebrations okay, were until I met my daughter. That is why I chose to have my birthday on the same day as Hook. Oh. So that oh, that's cute. we could celebrate this special day together. That oh, continued year Lord. after year until I too began to look forward to the party. Today is an extra special day. Oh, In addition to the moles, Hook has invited a dear and brave new friend. I hope you have a wonderful time at the party today. Oh. Natasha told me that you helped Hook retrieve a teddy bear. <laughs> it used to be that Hook could only fall asleep when she held that bear in her arms. No, I'll be embarrassed. That up. Uh, Hook's grown up now. I can sleep without hugging Jun Jun. Mm, I don't know about that. Life one. has gotten increasingly difficult since we left the mining town. All those days away at work have meant that your dad hasn't always been around to look after you. Aww. But fortunately, Jun Jun was always with you to keep you company when I wasn't around. I. Oh, Daddy. I. I have to tell you something. Aw, oh, she's getting upset that she I, sold it. I sold Jun Jun. Here at the party. Huh? You sold him? Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I don't need a doll to keep me company anymore. Natasha, the moles, and the honorary member will keep me company oh, from now so on. Fucking so sweet. I won't be alone. You sold him. I truly am an incompetent father. I had no idea. Oh, no, he's upset. Not true. I know you care about me the most, Daddy. <sighs> Thank you, Hook. But the birthday gift I've chosen is... Uh... Huh? What did you get? Oh, I want to know now. Go with the present. Th 
blankets, a teddy bear's cap, clothes in a dresser, Aww. a for him. Uh, Toy making companies are increasingly scarce. Ah, uh, that's so upsetting. I travel to different towns. I never expected uh, June so June upsetting. might have been sold. <laughs> what a shame. Uh, it's okay, Daddy. Oh, Don't so cry. Upsetting, uh, Natasha will teach me how to make another doll. Oh yeah, I got a gift for you too. For me? I'm cute. It's the. Jill Morrow probe. <laughs> she helped me to bid for it at the auction. I bought it with the money I got from selling Jun Jun. For this, you should be able to repair the vein detector. Right, Daddy? Daddy? Thank you so much, Hook. Ah, uh, this is just Daddy so upsetting. Really likes man. This birthday gift. But uh <laughs> I Huh? Well, why not? It's like this, Hook. I Bought your gift with the money I got from selling the vein detector. Oh shit! <laughs> oh so fuck! My gift is also useless. Oh. This is just a, such an upsetting uh, birthday. Do you still like the gift I got for you? Of course. Your gifts are the best in the world. Oh. Well, I feel the same way about your gift, Hook. My heart can't take this. Me and this you one. are in the same boat. Oh, that, that broke my heart. That's actually insane. Oh, visit on the express? Ooh, cool. Oh, I'm getting a little June June memorabilia. I like item. Alright, that's, that's so upsetting though, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that's rough. I'd be upset if I was like, that was my kid and they had to do that shit. Ah, oh, my heart. Got replaced by one. Uh, did I do that one already? Okay, that's done then. Let us go here. I'm waiting for people to join so I can start summoning too. So I'm gonna get that going as well. Has stolen parts again? How am I going to track down this crook? Girl, you're being not cold. Oh, it's you. And we're there underground. Are going to be a few Is this unusual snow? Thefts in the dwelling over the past few days. I want to think about that. The vagrants say that How's the parts they worked here? so hard to obtain have completely vanished. They're worried that there's a thief in the dwelling. Despite our investigation. <laughs> No one has been able to track down the thief. What's even stranger is that the thief no. appears to be only interested in stealing parts and doesn't care about other valuable items. <coughs> the vagrants had no choice but to ask Mr. Sparov to look into it, but he still hasn't found anything. I investigated the matter myself, but I came up empty handed. Mm. Jeez. I'm baffled. Oh, what a strange works. thief. Are you also here to look into this case? Yeah, sure. Perhaps if we work together, we can uncover some clues that I missed. <laughs> Camera's it's getting just, set up straight. I haven't Dick's found enough clues today. yet. The thief is really <laughs> tricky. How'd they haven't talk? left any traces in the dwelling. Oh, I heard the vagrants on patrol last night ran across the thief again. But I haven't had time to look into it. Should we go ask them? Sure. Why you not? sound so seeing you so fired up has me excited. Let's go. I want to pick up with that number four. I don't care. Okay. Do that. Let's go down. Scroll. Scroll. There we go. Eh, okay. Yeah. I might run around real quick to look for some. Look for some fucking um, chests, but I can do that later. What do you have to say? Sir, how are you? I heard you saw.
saw the thief who stole the parts last night. Can you tell us what happened? You can tell us what happened. Let us know. Lay it on. Who's there? Tell me staring right at oh. us. He's crazy. Clara, yeah, it's you. I thought it was... You scared the living daylights out of me. I... I did see the thief last night, but... Who is this person next to you? Don't worry about it. Trailblazer? Oh, I know. You're the outsider who's made a name for themselves around town, right? Yes. Oh, wow. I feel way better knowing that a big shot like you is here to catch the thief. Hold on. I'll explain what happened last night. Just let me gather my thoughts first. Now tell us right oh. now. Okay. So... Last night, I was on patrol when I bumped into the thief stealing the parts. Then, then, Thieves, I, plural? I just... Oh, no. Goodness! Okay, I'll explain slowly. I was cold and hungry while on patrol last night, so I decided to return to the dwelling and heat up some leftover canned food for a snack. Oh, but when I entered out. the tent... The thief's silhouette scurried across my vision. I couldn't see the thief's face because the tent was so dark, but I could tell he wasn't a nice guy. Be because when he turned to flee, he swung a knife right across my face. Jesus. In that moment, I really thought I was going to die. Damn, I like could feel the blade chill on my up. cheeks and smell its rusty scent. The weapon that fella had was definitely a metal one. That's the only thing I'm certain of. Also, I saw the outline of him in the dark. The fella's head was absolutely square. Yes, can you believe that? It sounds bizarre, but it could be a clue. I'll jot it down. Oh, Sir, like just please take a deep breath. So... The thief was armed with a metal weapon and had a, um... Square yeah. head. Hmm. I'm just trying to I'm so sorry. It seems that's well. everything. We now know one of the culprit's physical traits and that he is extremely power. violent. But how can we track him down? Ah, yes, I remember something. While the culprit was hurrying to escape, he knocked something over. Some clues or something. This is a something. crucial clue. Wow. Let's go investigate the crime scene together. I oh. think he ran that way. No one has touched the crime scene, so any traces he left behind should still be there. Hey. Please. Keep going. And it's just over here. Take a look at these marks. These are very suspicious. They point very in suspicious. that direction. Huh? Which way are we going? Oh, we're going down. Okay. Okay, I'm catching a Pokemon while I'm doing this. Damn. Hold on. Fuck off. There we go. That should be good. Look at these! How unusual! They don't appear to have been unusual left indeed. by a human. So it's a robot, most likely. Hustle this way. <laughs> the tracks stop here. I guess we'll have to look around for other clues. This is where the mechanical waste is disposed of, though. Could it be...? Oh, okay. I'll follow you. Oh, we let's got her so up. nervous. Oh, no. I'll follow you. Let's split up. <laughs> oh, hello. Shit. This big diamond! It's oh. all yours! Okay. Let's head to the objective. 
It's a there we go. tiny robot? Is it searching for something? But I don't remember Mr. Sparrow issuing an order like this recently. Puppy just probably locked in on his own. It looks like it's carrying the vagrant's missing parts. And those tracks and metal scratches we noticed earlier. Quite strange, yet such a scenario can't be ruled out. This small robot doesn't appear to be a Bellobob creation. It looks like it's been welded together from random scrap metal materials. It does, does it? Oh, huh. it appears to have a small mechanical arm. Ah, it's noticed us. She has no urgency in her voice. Injured. Uh, hurt. Please. Uh, Claire, Claire, do you speak a I, lot? I don't understand what it's saying. Oh, she but does know it's people. It doesn't robot. appear oh, to be trying to flee or attack us. Hmm. It appears to be trying to say something. I. Human. Please is it hurt. trying to say. Please don't hurt me, humans. Mayhaps. Human parts, rivet, need repair, need town parts, need 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 hurt. Don't. It appears to have a malfunction, but I think I can understand it. He just needs help. It seems close. that also it we talk about how Clara's outfit parts. reminds me of like Santa Claus. And it's like it really begging does. us not to hurt it. And give her like a little hat and some boots. She's good. I, I've never seen a robot with this kind of malfunction before. Although the small robot appears to want to communicate, its speech is all scrambled. Perhaps there's an issue with its language module. Yeah. This little run, escape, open. Fire! Workshop! Chase! Jump! Ah, it's running away! No! What we can't happened? let it escape! It still has the Vagrant's parts! What should we do? We got- Oh, we're fighting it. Okay. Hurt. Pain. No. Hurt. Don't. Pain. Suffer. Sorry. Oh, shit. Go. Happy! Time to twirl! Oh, Sorry. Easy. Hurt. Suffer. Pain. No, pain. Why? Kind of sad. Sorry, pain. Suffer. Oh, is this kind of robot. Sorry. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, that's kind of wild. Okay. It seems to have stopped working. Hmm. Is Was this the it begging for like mercy? A really, like, Cutscene for this. I'm not sure what happened either. I feel bad about this. I guess we should return this little fella and the parts. I think I can. I'll repair it. There you go. I want to pull for Clara if she comes ever comes back on rotation. And if I can't, I'll ask Mr. Sparrow for help. He always knows what to do. Sparrow can probably repair him. I'm already here. Initiating assessment of the robot's condition. Please wait, Clara. While Mr. Sparrow is assessing this little fella, let's give it a quick checkup ourselves. Hmm? This paint job and these custom parts, and the way the parts are attached, it's all quite strange. But one thing is for certain, this little fella is not under remote control. He's operating entirely of his own accord. Hmm. Its design is, well, unique. I've never seen a robot with a design like this before. It really seems like something See, that was the thrown together rather quickly. 
so its I can't creator most likely add didn't consider whether the system would function properly or not. Is it a failed robot pet creation that has been abandoned? But if it's a pet, then why would it gather parts itself? I've heard that some vagrants in the dwelling keep the little robots they find as pets. Some vagrants also make modifications to their pets, which they call pet upgrades. Wow. So creative with names. There we go. Pets like that are pretty rare, but some of the folks who have them have formed a small community to share ideas. Some are interested in nurturing robots. Others force them into battle. If my memory serves me right, the parts this little fella stole were originally designed for that kind of pet upgrade. Alicia, that's awful. The vagrants, or to be more accurate, the majority of the people in the underworld, regard robots as nothing more than tools. Damn. But I disagree. Robots have their own thoughts and feelings. Yeah, if they're that fucking. It's great that you understand what I'm saying. Um, I'm sorry. I just suddenly felt some strong emotions. Oh, well, let's get back to work on repairing the small robot. This Jack's placement is odd. The chip is buried deep inside. If you don't look closely enough, you won't even find it. Assessment of the robot's condition is complete. The shell damage is estimated to be 98.2%. The assessment concludes that a total recovery is impossible. It is recommended that the robot's external shell be removed and replaced, while keeping the outer circuitry and related transmission devices. Okay. You can always rely on Mr. Sparg to come up with a brilliant idea. So, I guess we'll have to go find a I'm new robot shell to fix him. it, right? Hmm. I'm not sure if anyone sells this kind of thing. There must be some robot shells lying around the machine graveyard. Everyone calls it a graveyard, but there are actually lots of useful parts buried there. I'm going to return the parts to the vagrants first. She then I'll check like on the little, little fella. She does have Can a I hat. Trust you to find a oh, shell shit. in the machine graveyard, oh, big sister? Okay, so little Santa Claus hat I was talking about. Her hoodie, I think that has like a little Santa tuff on the end of it. That's actually really cute if it is. <laughs> really? You could have what it takes to be a prospector. Then, I'll entrust this task sister. to you, big sister. That. Oh, there you go. Look for Toby at the front entrance. His appearance is... crude, but he is the robot most familiar with the machine graveyard. Just follow him. His appearance is crude. Okay. They really got me doing these side quests. Hello, guests of Miss Clara. Please do as you wish. It's my honor to serve you. Nice Miss Clara has assigned me the task of planning your sightseeing route in the machine graveyard. I will guide you down the path. Right, let's get it. Would you like to engage in super speed mode? If so, please confirm by spinning counterclockwise ten times, then clockwise by 270 degrees. Oh, no, fuck you. Go and happy! Time to twirl! Good. Fuck 
survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. at our first destination. Our first. This model is known as the Dire Wolf and was scrapped after its robot pet battles sound a little frightening. The inside of the it's armor like is a total mess due to being melted by the heat. Those. Unfortunately, it appears to be useless. We are on our way to the second destination. Please take a seat, buckle up, and hold tight. Why do you say that last line like that? <laughs> Caution! You have exceeded the speed limit. Fuck you. Please obey Bellabog traffic laws. On the road, safety is the top priority. I don't give a fuck. We have arrived at our second destination. This module is called the Beetle, which the beetle. is the same as mine. Oh, nice. This machine was scrapped because it accelerated erratically for 7.1 kilometers after it incorrectly interpreted a command, oh, causing the engine to catch fire and the core module to melt down. <laughs> just over that is such an odd reason to be scrapped. However, the shell appears to be in good condition, so... Your trip has concluded. Your trip has concluded. I appreciate you putting your trust in Toby. Yeah, I'm done with you, Toby. I'm sorry. A five-star review for this trip has been automatically nice. generated for you. You're welcome. Wow. That's crazy. He just gives the five-star review. Screen's doing that glitchy thing again, it's so fucking annoying. Almost last time. I'm so happy there's no stamina. I know there's no reason for stamina, but I'd be great. Just happy they made that decision. Clara, it's time for a break. You shouldn't repair machines when you have negative emotions. It's bad for your physical and mental health. Oh. Don't worry, Mr. Sparrow. I'm... Oh, you're back already. How did it go? Did... This shell... Hmm... It doesn't appear to be the same design as this little fella's, but it shouldn't matter. The structures of these small robots are nearly identical. Okay. Thank That's you for bringing good. this to me. I finished extracting that chip from the small robot. Now, all that's left to do is move all this circuitry into the new shell. Although its appearance has changed a lot, I think we did a good job. Hmm. Mm, this is fucking great. But what I just did... Is it any different from those pet upgrades that the vagrants perform? Oh, you're fine. Not compatible. Incompatible? Huh? It's making a strange sound. 
incompatible and what's going on is it malfunctioning it's just not good incompatible 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 risk level high clara get away now big sister watch out it's out of control <laughs> they even get to finish its sentence. Terminate. Terminate. Is it wanting you. us to kill it? That oh, was no. close. That's kind of rough. Fortunately, Mr. Why did the little fella... Troubleshooting. Assessment. The system on the chip and the new hardware are incompatible, oh, causing the robot why. to behave erratically. The current issue has been resolved. Risk level low. Alert lifted. It appears to have adjusted to its new shell after the battle. That's great. But right. I'd like to keep a closer eye on it for a while. I'm also curious about where this little fella came from. Could you please come back oh, later, it's a whole big sister? Robot now. Okay. I, I need to that. look into something. I may require your assistance. Thank you, big sister, Mr. Sparrow. Accessing main database. I should come back to Clara later. Oh, it's kind of cute how she just calls us big sister, though. I do enjoy that. Alrighty. Not bad. Doing this for the rewards. Thank God. The mining team is actually time working. for a break. Silent mode activated. Are you hurt? No, miss Let me take a look. Can I talk to you for a moment? I have a favor to ask. I want to thank of you course, again Dad. for recovering the wonder medicine. It meant a lot to one? me. But disposing of Vash's reagents isn't enough to solve the medical oh, supply God, shortage. Many of my patients can't be seen promptly, and my stock of medicine is running low. Thanks to you, the route to the overworld through the Furnace Core has reopened. I'd like to use it to return to the surface and see if I can get some help. Okay. <laughs> Remember my adoptive parents I mentioned to you a while ago? Maybe. After the reopening of the Furnace Core passage, I had an idea. I wrote a letter and asked Sampo to deliver it to my parents' old address. Oh. I didn't have high hopes, but amazingly, Sampo brought me my mother's reply. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I got her letter. Mom said they still live at the old house, but they're not working on the front lines anymore. They should still have some connections in the medical school and the hospital, though. If I'm lucky, maybe I can convince them to send extra medical supplies to the underworld. Of course, that's not the only reason for me to go back to the surface. I can't wait to visit my parents again. And I can tell from my mom's letter that they feel the same. If possible, I would like you to go with me. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> That's such a relief. That's I've sent cool. another letter to... Okay, let's head out. Wait, does that mean I got all... Okay, I... oh, I got them all. Okay, nice, I like that. Time for a break. Silent mode activated. <sighs> this place doesn't seem to... I'm gonna start spam -flipping. No, there you are. Look at the busy flow of people. Ugh, that kid's Life too in the overworld the carries on as usual, as if nothing has happened. Him, but he's there. Hmm, we're a little early. I want to buy my mom a gift. You're more of an overworld local than I am now. Any suggestions? Flowers, huh? That's a great idea. 
I've been underground for so long, I almost forgot what flowers smell like. Yeah. Flowers it is, then. Hot take. Can I don't think you flowers have a smell for me. Like, the scent of it just never, like, clicked me. I just never noticed the smell. Fuck. Ever summer. <laughs> was that always the name? <sighs> Seems I was too young to get the irony back then. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Nice. Yeah, I don't I mean to now. sound cynical. Now that I think about it, sending flowers is quite the tradition in my family. Mom, Dad, Bash, and I. Whenever something good happened, we sent each other flowers to celebrate. <laughs> Do you want to hear a flower story? You're right. Sorry, no, Not no. the best Sorry, moment. For... Will you choose some flowers? To me, every flower. Don't worry. I don't think my parents will be picky about the flowers. Okay. Oh, first snow, is it? First One snow. second. I'll get it ready for you. There you go. Sorry there for the wait. Go. Hope to see you again soon. Red. A lot of shit. All done? May I first yes, know. Thank you. It reminds me of carefree childhood day. I knew you'd pick the right. Let's go. My mom will be. <sighs> I hope her mom's not just like a random ass NPC. Most likely is gonna be a random ass NPC, but still. Come around and have a look. Yep, random ass NPC. Mom. Nat. Nat, is that you? Oh. Oh, oh adopted mother. Oh, okay. Uh, it's been too long, Mom. Too long. <sighs> Sorry. I don't usually get this emotional. How have you been, Mr. Oswell? Thank you so much for taking care of my parents these last ten years. I'm doing fine, Miss Natasha. Just fine. Look at you. You've blossomed into a fine young woman. Mm. Such a fine pity. Side to you, that fine woman is amazing. I'm just Dad, saying. I was wondering where he is. Is he... <gasps> oh. It... Was three years ago, Nat. Oh, no need heart. to be sad. He passed away very peacefully. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. For ten years, I left you both in the overworld. Mr. Oswell, I'm sorry you had to bear all this weight. Don't be, my dear. It is my honor to look after your parents. It's not your fault that they sealed off the passage between the surface and the underground. Don't be so harsh on yourself, daughter. <laughs> I say daughter like that, though. Oh, Mom. I have so much to say to you. But, um, there's an urgent matter that needs your help. I apologize. I wish this were a happier reunion. But there are too many suffering with sickness in the underworld. You're the only person I can go to for help. Oh, there's no need to apologize, my child. I've heard of your deeds down there, and I know you've saved many lives. Many your lives father? have been saved by this fabulous <gasps> ass. Be proud of you. Excuse me. We have many connections in the medical academy. No matter what you need, be it medicine or data, I should be able to get it for you. Be the doctor you always were, Nat. We have all the time in the world to catch up later. All right. 
She's always been there for me. With her help, we'll be able to ease the Underworld's medical supply shortage. That's good news for patients who'd lost hope. I really wish I could spend the whole day talking to her about the old days. Let's head back to the Underworld. Miss Natasha, one moment, please. Mr. Oswell, I thought you headed back home with Mom. I apologize, Miss Natasha. As a matter of fact... Something that Mom isn't supposed to know? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Smart and sensitive. The fact of the matter is, in the first two years after the passage was closed off, I received many letters from Master Vash. What? Letters from Vash? Are you certain, Mr. Oswald? Of course, miss. I recognized his handwriting. You'll see what I mean when you read the letters yours. Actually, those letters were intended for your eyes only. The delivery yeah. address was the yeah. underworld, March but because of the sealing off of the, the passageway, oh, so the letters funny. were sent back to your own house. To me. I don't understand. Did you not show them to my parents? Just walk through our conversation? I... Okay. I'm okay. sorry, miss. I opened one of them out of curiosity. Master Vash stressed in the letter that your parents must not know what happened to him. That's why I put the letters in a secure place, waiting to hand them to you when we could meet again. Uh, I... I'm not sure if I did the right Natasha's thing, Mr. Tasha. I just didn't want your parents to feel that their son was so close and yet so far away. Not focused on this conversation. Do you have the letters on you, Mr. Oswald? It's literally the same guy Let that me take messes. a look. Of course, of course, here. And <sighs> the cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child who grew up in warmth ever begin to comprehend a cure to bitter cold? He. <sighs> Vash didn't give up on his research into blizzard immunity. Even after he left the city. I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments. One step after another, I've made breakthroughs. I'm trembling, not because of the cold, but because I can feel I'm getting closer to the answer I seek. If what's in here is true, then... Then Vash must have built a lab somewhere in the snow plains, and even made progress in his research. There'd be no point in him lying to me in the letters. Still, I need to leave the city to recover my brother's research data. Are you leave the city? You are taking too much risk, Miss Natasha. I know, Mr. Oswell. But I have a hero with me. She saved the underworld. Hero. I'm sure she'll protect that. me, right? <sighs> Vash. It's been so many years. Oh. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm just talking to myself. <sighs> Such harsh cold. It's hard to imagine anyone surviving in these conditions. <laughs> Here among 
along the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Project Wrap. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Who's next? Here, this looks like lab equipment. Maybe Vash left it behind. Huh. Still, it's all just used test tubes, beakers, and other vessels. No sign of any sample reagents or lab notes for that matter. Oh, I know my brother. He's meticulous when it comes to medical experiments. There's no way he wouldn't document his results. I want to go deeper into the snow plains. Can you press on? <sighs> Gosh, the temperature keeps getting lower. Shit. But we can't give up halfway. <laughs> no need. Don't you underestimate the leader of wildfire. <sighs> Let's press she's on. Oh, then. yeah, I forget she's the leader. <laughs> Keep thinking this this may not sound like. Oh, we're. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is actually. Citizens? Outside the walls? Hey, you two! Stop right there! That's a Silvermane guard. Oh, I'd almost forgotten. No one can leave Bellabog without authorization. Nope. Looks like we need to talk our way up. Talk? We fight them. We throw in hands. That's what we're doing. I can't say you sound suspicious, but... I can't just take your word... Captain, look at her necklace. Maybe she's telling the truth. It's the same as Dr. Vash's. My brother does wear an identical necklace. Do you know him? Are you really his sister? Dr. Vash saved a lot of my soldiers. Saved? Yes. Take a look at the guards patrolling outside the city. All of them are risking their lives. Aside from the monster-related casualties, we lose men to frostbite every year. But thanks to the medicine the doctor leaves us, my soldiers are able to withstand the cold. They can make camps in the snow plains as footholds for our patrols. Medicine? You don't know. Dr. Vash is He's elusive. Dr. Vash at this point. My squad only met him once, and he didn't seem like the talkative type. He leaves the medicine at specific locations, and our patrols go there to collect it. The medicine is extremely potent. A small vial could keep someone warm for a week. Oh, that's good. Mm, speaking of the doctor, it's been a long time since we last saw him. Now, at least two or three years. <laughs> so he really did have a breakthrough in the snow plains. Oh, did the medicine have any side effects for you? Side effects? 
Not that I know of. Hmm. If there I were like a problem, voice. A nice it'd voice. be that we couldn't go back to the city until the affected worn off. Because the city would be too hot for us. We'd break a sweat just sitting idle. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Hmm. Oh, that would really suck, though. Thanks for the information. We're planning to head deeper into the snow plains to find my brother. Seems like you've made up your mind. I'd really like to send some of my men with you, but we can't leave our posts. Here, take this medicine. If what you two told me is true, I'm sure you're more than capable of handling yourselves out there. Thank you, Captain. We'll take it with us. Hold on. That's a big guy over there. Did you see that? There's something on the monster's back. Oh, the blizzard immunity. Shall we drink it? It's your call. Yeah, let's fight the enemies first. So, bitch. I'm ready. I like he just let us roll up on him like that, though. Right! Investing in victory means playing the bad game! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Confiscated. Good. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Yeah. Done. That was my first time seeing you in battle. You've got some moves, don't you? <laughs> no wonder you were able to save the underworld. Let's have a look over there. My gut tells me we should. <sighs> These are records of his experiments. Some have. It's Vash's handwriting. This must be the location of his final lab. His last experiment was nearly two years ago? What happened after that? Huh. His notes seem to suggest he was working to improve blizzard immunity. Brother... Where are you? What happened? Sorry, I needed to take a moment. <laughs> After seeing the letters Mr. Oswell kept for me, I was hoping things might have ended differently. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked you to come with me to such a dangerous place. <laughs> I do. I can't forgive him for what he's done. Nor can I say I don't miss him. I... 
<laughs> Maybe I should feel glad. The medicine might not have been what he wanted it to be, but it came to something. Maybe he found some inner peace. You're right. I've been getting harassed for past there can like, be no forgiveness for the crimes he committed. Oh, he didn't deserve the title of doctor. But maybe this blizzard immunity can now bring benefit to others. <sighs> I'll take his records and data with me and continue what he started. Before we leave, I'd like to ask for another favor. The, the last one, I promise. Sure it's the last one? should do. Hope it can withstand the snow. You're right. Uh, let me think. Here lies Vash. <sighs> That'll do. Aww, that's sad. Thank you for helping me. So long, brother. Hope you don't forget Dad's teaching. A doctor does not get to choose his or her patient, my children. Remember, never say no to those who come to you for help. Heart wrenching shit. Fuck. Uh, Natasha can pop here on an express now. Pizza bread, like that. Alright, those are those quests. Daily mission. I have yet to do. I did. Let's go to the daily mission. Time for a break. Silent mode activated. Her hip is very exposed. I'm digging that. That design choice. It's been more than a decade. I'm so glad. Unbelievable. Since the past, of course, of course. You flatter me, Goethe. My hotel is getting daily. refurbished. Clips for this one. <sighs> I want to push in the story so far, so much. It's been moved back since the. Of course. You flat. Can I get you? So, your first trailblazing, be it joy or pain, it seems you have something on you. Likewise. Get some nice chat. Pom Pom, we're back! Shh. Checking Star Rail stability. Good to see you. Spatial readout, Star Rail stability. Let's get to the next planet, let's go. Next right one. away, to avoid encountering for your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached. Finally, done. Oh, oh, cool. And Sila. Let's go. That's a lot of shit. Oh. What's 
in a hurry. A lot of text messages. Should I spam? at me, what the fuck? That's that. Heard, uh, cable through here. Cool. Oh. Alright, another random quest. Oh, that's what that's about. Mm -hmm. oh. right. I need to get one of those, because I know they're pets. Mm -hmm. Get sidetracked again. Han May. A name that's both new and... I thought member four, Hoka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. You're back. <laughs> of course, this is a summit between three geniuses. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. I took her to see the portraits of the society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. I heard Miss Ron May likes snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue.